Hello and welcome to Anime Memories and on this episode I'm going to be talking about Madoka Magica. When Cowboy Bebop first came over to the West, the hype was unreal. Everybody was losing their minds over it. At the time I remember thinking that we're never going to get this again. There's never going to be another anime that reaches this level of hype and acclaim. And while I don't think that anything has quite reached that level yet, a few anime have come very close with this show being one of them. When it first came out, the anime community again started going nuts with some proclaiming that it is the best anime ever. The impact that it had can still be felt today. If you mention Madoka to an anime fan, you'll most likely start a lengthy and passionate conversation. The story is set in a world that is overrun by witches. These monsters cast evil curses upon humans to make them feel intense negative emotions to the point where they end up committing suicide or murder. In order to fight back against these witches, a weird being called Kubei creates contracts with young girls so that they can be transformed into magical girls. When this starts off, many of you will probably be a bit confused. You will ask, what the hell is the big deal? It's just standard high school drama with some magical elements. The first few episodes are fairly run of the mill and because of that, I can see a lot of people giving up on it early. But I implore you, stick with it because once the characters in the setting are properly introduced, the true face of the show comes out. The high school antics and goofy comedy completely disappear and are replaced with dark themes and gruesome battles. It may not look like it, but people have put this in genres such as dark fantasy, psychological thriller, Wikipedia has even put it in as a horror anime. And that classification is somewhat accurate since there are some incredibly horrific scenes. With this new information, I guess I should give a bit of a warning before continuing. If you get squeamish easily, or if you don't want to watch something that's going to make you feel emotionally drained, I would highly recommend avoiding this. The story is tragic and as time goes on, it just keeps getting worse and worse. It gets so bad that it's hard to see how the characters could ever come out on top. Speaking of characters, their personalities aren't really all that original. If you've watched anime for a while, you've seen these people before. But despite this, I still ended up connecting with them because of all the horrible things they had to go through. For example, Homer at first comes off as your standard cold-hearted teenager. But when you learn why she's so cold, it becomes much easier to sympathise with her. Heartbreaking doesn't even begin to describe what these characters experience, and if you become connected to them like I did, this is going to be very rough to watch at times. There is one character that stands out though, and that is the little white fox squirrel... thing? Cubay. I can't really go much into the reasons why due to spoilers, but I will say that he is very unique and he's one of the reasons why this show is remembered so fondly. Another element that I thought was fairly unique was the character designs. They seem to be a combination of the chibi kind of design and the art style that was popular back in the 90s. I found that this helped make the girls look young and innocent, which made the darker scenes much crueler. I think the designs were also made this way so they can look like old school magical girl shows such as Sailor Moon and Cardcaptor Sakura. One interesting thing about the visuals is that there is some very weird imagery. Most of the time during these scenes, I was just staring at the screen wondering what the hell I was looking at. I think that was the intention though, you're meant to feel mortified, so mission accomplished I guess. Another positive is the phenomenal soundtrack. It matches the epicness of the plot while at the same time, it perfectly fits the theme of a magical girl show. I'm not sure if you can listen to this music by itself, but within the anime, it works very well. Now we've got what I believe is the best aspect of this series, the dialogue. The conversations between the characters were captivating, especially when they go into things like the ethics of humanity and what a human life is truly worth. I also love the explanation of why the focus is always on magical girls and not magical boys or magical women. I think that the quality of the dialogue was one of the main reasons why the story had such a big emotional impact on me. The last thing I'll discuss is the ending and it's quite controversial. I've heard a few people speak very negatively of it since they see it as a massive deus ex machina. And yeah it kind of is but I still felt that it was satisfying and that's all I really want from an ending. As long as I get a satisfying conclusion, I can ignore a little bit of hand wavy writing. When looking at everything objectively, I would consider Madoka Magica to be the best anime I've ever seen. To me, it's very close to being perfect and I would highly recommend it to anybody who even has the slightest interest in anime. So anyway, thank you very much to everybody who watched this video. 
If you have any feedback, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video and want to see more, feel free to subscribe as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.